All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my channel. Uh, today, if you're looking at bags to buy, this is one of your options. It's the uh, 10 inch tote from Klein Tools. Been around since 2014, but uh, only now getting a chance to look at it. Uh, initial thoughts after two weeks is pretty darn good bang for your buck. Uh, if you like an open top bag. I've used like the DeWalt ones uh, and some of the other AWP type brands on the market. They fall apart like in a couple months. This seems to have a bit more uh, quality to it than those guys uh, while still being significantly less, less expensive than the Vito bags. That being said, it's not as uh, heavy duty as a Vito bag. Like when you carry it, you still get a lot of play in the bag and I, I feel like it won't last as long as one of those, but it's still a third of the price. So let's take a look at it. Uh, on the outside, there's a lot of storage on the outside for cool tools you want quick access to. I guess actually everything is quick access because it's all open, but uh, on the outside, I've got a tape measure clip here. Uh, kind of annoying that you have to remove the tape to get access to this, but it is what it is. Uh, in here, keep a small parts container from uh, Walmart, just a, or Home Depot, the Husky container. On this side, probably my most used tools, lineman pliers and 11 and 1 from Klein. Those two are my most used every job, every day kind of tools. Got a torpedo level, magnetic pickup tool, marker, knife. On this side, two large pockets. I've got a laser distance measuring tool and the Klein circuit breaker finder. Over on this side here, some more pliers. I've got the needle nose pliers, uh, diagonal cutters, and wire strippers, along with the tape loop. There's also a very small bit holder. So for bits uh, two inches and shorter, anything else, which I usually carry, or like a four inch bit doesn't fit in there. So kind of useless for me. Let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Let's take a look in the middle. Oh, I left this as it was because uh, it's Sunday now, beautiful Sunday here in Canada. Um, but Friday, I was working on a canopy doing a lot of strapping. So it's nice to be able to throw some stuff into the middle that you know you're going to be using. So I was strapping up these uh, self tappers and you can just throw them in the middle uh, and still fit all your hand tools. Uh, so also in the middle, I've got my uh, fluke meter and a bit container pretty large bit container it still fits in there and then also at the bottom i keep my allen keys on the far side here is a large amount of deep uh, thin pockets for long shank screwdrivers two four six eight long shank screwdrivers in there no problem and on the same side in the middle section here are uh, some uh, shorter pockets, but wider. Uh, so that's where I fit my shorter screwdrivers you just saw. In this side, nothing right now, but that's where my bit case was. So it was kind of pressed up against that portion. So not easy to store stuff. Uh, on the middle, on the other side, I've got my micro screwdrivers, a pencil and a conduit reading tool. Finally, on this side where, uh, over here we have this, uh, the smaller pockets for the long shank screwdrivers. Over here we've got just three, uh, I'd say, medium sized pockets. Where I keep my seven and one nut driver. If you don't have one of these, go pick one up and take seven nut drivers out of your tool bag. Uh, a pencil for some reason. <laughs> uh, two pairs of Nipex channel locks and a drywall saw. The nice thing about it, like I said, lots of storage in the middle, so under everything, I still got a pair of gloves because you never know when you might need another pair of gloves. So that's it, guys. Great bag, lots of storage. You, it depends on what you want to buy. Like if you want an open top, I'm not a big fan of the open tops. My van gets messy. Uh, 
So sometimes I put it on an uneven surface in my van, forget about it, start driving, it tips over, all my tools are on the back of my van. But if you keep these uh, on your front seat and your back seat where they're always sitting up straight and there's no chance of them falling, this, and you just want quick access to your tools, this might be something you're interested in. Anyways, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe you'll come back for the next review of the Tech Pack MC, the little mini mini backpack from uh, Vito Pro Pack. All right, have a good one.